Hi guys, today we will know how to explain a patent to others. Whenever you are understanding a patent or you have found a reference, you need to give a walkthrough of the patent or the references to your manager or say suppose client. And today I will be telling you five basic to do's that you have to follow for explaining your patent. These are the rules that I am following and it's really benefiting me. So the first part of your explanation will be building a context. Now what I mean by building a context is when you are explaining a patent, suppose it is on telecommunication, so you cannot just start explaining the claims. You need to build a context. You need to describe what the background is uh, talking about, what the invention domain is. You cannot just move to the claim and explain it. Maybe the client is not aware. Maybe the managers are not aware. So you need to build the context first. Next is knowing the audience. Now when you are, now when I say knowing your audience, it clearly means knowing how much tech knowledge that person has. So I was taking an example of telecom. It can be possible that the patent is on 5G and the manager is aware of 5G technology. So you need not give complete context of 5G. But you're talking to a colleague and that person is not very much accustomed with 5G technology. Then maybe you need to give uh, some reference of some of the terms that that person is using. The third point will be using analogies. Now, when I say using analogies, it is possible that the manager might not know all the terms of uh, your patent. So you can use some analogies, say suppose food delivery patent. So you can give an example of Zomato or Swiggy or any food delivery app and you can explain all the stuff using that app. Then maybe it will be easier to visualize all those things and the person who is sitting on the other side of the table will be understanding it in a better way, in an easier way. Analogies helps us build the relation with the other person and it helps them grab your attention. Moving to the next, the fourth point will be using simple language. If you watch my previous video, it was talking about real and node, duplex communication. So everyone might not be aware of what duplex communication is, right? So you can use some simple language. Two-way communication, relay node, you are not aware what a relay node is. Say it like some entity which is in between of two communication nodes. So maybe that's how you use simpler language. So it's important because it won't sound mechanical or technical when you are using simple language. With that, we come to the last point, which is the explanation should be in a conversational tone. It should not sound mechanical. It should sound like you are talking to some person. Suppose you have bought a house. So how will you explain it to your friend that you have bought a house? You won't start with, I bought cement, I bought brick. You'll just say, I was searching for a flat and then I encountered this thing and then I bought a flat, all those things. So it's just the tone, the communication which is taking place between you and the person, uh, the other person should be very conversational. So that was the five to do's that you need to follow for uh, explaining any patent. Stay tuned for more such videos. This is Sonali from Rebi. Thank you.